What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Users TV. In this class, we're going to look at, of course, as you can see, an horizontal date picker, okay? You can see, we can actually scroll through this particular date picker right here, okay? It's actually made from a recycler view, and of course, show the selected date right here, okay? So, as you scroll now, you can see it right here. Then, of course, I can also go ahead and choose manually. If I click the date, you can see we are able to show it in a toast message. Okay, so this is it. Of course, our horizontal date picker right here. We show, of course, as you can see, the month, then, of course, the day of the week, and then the date. And then you can also choose them by just clicking. So, very beautiful right here, horizontal picker. This is what we're going to see. So, join us. We get started. Well, before we proceed over, you can also see our app right here in the landscape mode. Okay, you can see it's very beautiful. So, we just scroll to choose the date or we can just scroll and then choose the date that you actually desire by clicking. So, this is it. This is what we're looking at. So, let's get started. Okay, so first and foremost, we actually have to create our project. So, create Android project, then first choose the application name then your company domain then the project location so go ahead type them then of course we're targeting phone and tablets that's what we're creating an app for then our minimum sdk in this case is going to be android 4.1 ap level 16 okay jelly bean so as you can see it supports approximately 99.2 percent of devices then we proceed over we have some templates we'll choose the empty activity as our starter template this is going to generate for us a single activity main activity with its layout activity main and of course our activity is going to be backwards compatible given that we'll derive from the app compat activity so have it there then click finish this of course is going to generate for us the project so once our project is ready let's come right here First, of course, as usual, you can see these are project structure. Now, under the Gradle scripts, we have to build or Gradle the project level as well as the app level. So, we come to the app level. Now, you can see we have these dependencies closure right here. Okay, so we're going to add three dependencies. First, the app compat. Now, go ahead add the app compat as our dependency right here. Okay, now you'll have to specify the version depending on the your current sdk version of course in your machine in your android sdk so specify it right there this we're adding app compat because our main activity will be deriving from the app compat activity then our recycler view in this case given that this library that we're going to use horizontal picker is actually made from the recycler view okay so please specify it right here and then also horizontal picker which is the library that you're going to use so add them then of course click sync to synchronize your project now as i've been doing in the last few tutorials we're going to be working with a custom theme so i'm going to have this as my accent color and then this as my primary color and then primary color dark so this will be my colors right here okay we just want a custom theme in this case and of course you guys saw it in our toolbar which actually was this yellowish right here okay now once you have that one we go over to the styles.xml so in the styles.xml uh this is what we're going to do of course probably android studio did generate for you the styles.xml file and then added this one right here your base application theme as the app theme okay app, actually app theme as your base application theme now we're going to create a custom theme so go ahead of course you can give it the name you like i've called mine my custom material theme you can see its parent is going to be my custom material theme dot base so we add it there then of course we can define that particular parent so you see we have right here this is going to be this our base and then is actually has the parent has the dark action bar okay now we're going to have window not at all window action bar set to true and then 
we have this as our colors color primary color dark color primary dark as well as the color accent now you can give them the colors you like and you can also name your a uh, custom theme the way you like it really doesn't matter all you have to do after that is come to your manifest and then make sure that you actually reference that particular theme as you see i've actually done right here so yeah do that one then of course we move over to our layouts okay now we go over to the activity main so just come to the activity main i'm going to have linear layout as my root element now of course this is my linear layout right here then you can have of course a relative layout if you like then we have right here our horizontal picker so you can see this is our horizontal picker of course the library that you're using so please add this one then of course assign it an id now this horizontal picker is actually a custom horizontal date picker library the time picker library okay so add it and that's all you need to do before we proceed over to our java code so the next thing is that we are going to come to our main activity now as you can see right here so as usual most probably android studio has already generated for you this particular activity right here okay it's generated it and registered it of course in our manifest as an activity because activity is actually an android component that needs to be registered in the manifest so yeah it has you have it right here now what you are going to do now is to make this particular activity derive or actually implement the date picker listener interface now this date picker listener is actually defined in a horizontal picker okay library which you are using so yeah go ahead implement this interface this is actually going to then require us to override one method on date selected okay now on date selected is going to give us the date time that is actually selected which we can then work with now we come having overridden it will come and then also have our own create method okay so on create is actually a callback for our main our activity when it's actually created this particular callback will be traced a bundle object is being passed which will be used of course to save the instant state of the activity now set content view in this case is going to inflate and then set our activity main of course as our layout so first we're going to reference our horizontal picker so horizontal picker picker equal to find view by id r dot id dot dot picker now once we have our horizontal picker having referenced it from our layout we're going to set its listener to this remember this of course is an activity which is implementing the date picker listener interface so then we set our listeners this given the interface that you are implementing and then we go ahead set the various properties then set days set offset set date selected color set date selected text color okay you can actually modify it as you wish set month and year text color etc okay and then show today button okay so we come had as many properties as you want of course you can actually get these properties just by clicking dot right here and then using the builder pattern you can actually obtain the properties and then you can set them as you wish okay so add them then of course invoke the niche method to initialize our horizontal picker now once that has been done and of course you're doing it inside the on create method then we'll come back to this on date selected now this of course is going to give us the selected date okay so remember we've also put in a background color right here okay set background color which you can also modify the background color for our horizontal picker then we, we're going to set the date all right so set date as the default well we're going to get the current date time and then set it as the default date for our horizontal picker if our date is selected we're going to show it in a toast message okay so yeah we come right here date selected dot to string and then show it now this this is it it's a very simple tutorial in this case looking at horizontal picker and how you can actually use it in your project okay 
So go ahead, run the project, you'll get the result that we showed in the demo. And then of course, you guys, if you want the source code, go to our website, you'll find the source code right there. So like this video, share it, and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, Programming Wizards TV. Now like the video, uh, subscribe, and please help us in sharing the videos, okay? Our channel is growing day by day. Help us by sharing our videos. So that's it. Take care. I'll catch you in the next class.